Hello guys, welcome everyone to the forexboat.com and once again this is Victor with you with yet another weekly analysis. Today we will be looking at Australian dollar versus Japanese yen which looks very very attractive in terms of a buying opportunity. But before we start just to remind you that all the information presented in this video is for informational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. First off, I would like to update you on our previous ideas. Uh, we had a gold, uh, which you can see that is actually approaching towards our target. Currently is at the support, which is another buying opportunity price. Should produce yet another uh, wave to the upside like that. And this is what is expected. Look, here is the support at $1,587. It will likely attempt to break lower and this could be the price of interest. So the spike below is possible, although here we can see it's, it's holding the 200 moving average. Overall, this area between 1580 and 1500 and 6, uh, it could be considered as another buying opportunity yet again so we do expect the price to reach approximately 1670. now on the euro swiss franc uh, we were expecting the downtrend towards this target the there were two possible scenarios with a stop loss above here as a regional idea suggested another was here so you can see price did produce the spike higher but here we have reached basically uh, the previous entry point the profit fixing here would be a good idea since it's not just moving it, it's just not moving down so most likely the trend will reverse to the upside so it's good to fix the profit and potentially even reverse you can see that 200 moving average is exponential and simple we're broken and uh, the price closed below the previous resistance so this is a, a signs of a bullish trend yet it still can reach the target to produce a double bottom so no idea here uh, it would be good to fix the profit if you short it at um, at that high from our previous idea now G gbp australian dollar we're expecting this strong downtrend it still holds this resistance so i do believe it is about to start i think the australian dollar uh, is now getting very weak, extremely weak. And this is another reason why we actually are looking at the Australian versus Japanese yen. And also our previous idea for the Euro Australian dollar reached the target and went much lower. So yet again, Australian dollar seems to be very, very strong. And now we're looking at the daily chart on the Australian versus Japanese yen. What is very interesting here is this price gap. You know that price gaps are usually getting closed, getting filled. And this is exactly what I do expect to happen. Currently, uh, we're trading at 66.28 uh, and we expect the price to reach 61.8 FIPS, which is 69.60, approximately 350 FIPS uh, potential upside move on this pair. You can see I use Fibonacci at uh, this low because price failed to close below and this is my original lowest point and this corresponds exactly to this bottom uh, produced prior to the gap so i do expect the gap to be filled uh, within probably a week by the end of the week we might be already at that price now let's look at the one hour chart what here is interesting is that price moving within the uptrend trend line we rejected previous level of resistance which now is support clearly price failed to close uh, below that then we rejected the 200 exponential moving average and now we're rejecting the uptrend trend line for the second time what can be uh, what can happen actually is price will attempt to go below this low basically to kick out the stop losses um, it can even try to go below this, produce a spike lower. So overall, the stops below 64.87 would be ideal. And the target is 69.53. Now on the 15 minute chart, another interesting thing is that we failed to close below 76.4 FIPS and price actually closed right at, the, at that price. 
This is also the support where previously price bounced twice. You can see it rejected both 200 moving average exponential and simple, which is very good. And this is basically a strong level of demand. Now to confirm the uptrend, it is best to wait until we close above the uh, trend line, downtrend trend line. If we go to five minute chart, just put it clean. Okay, you can see that we already kind of closed above, but I'm waiting for 15 minutes candle to close. And this basically will happen in a couple of minutes. And if that's the case, if price manages to break above it, you can see it has to be break above the previous high right there and the up downtrend trend line. Overall, the final confirmation could be the break and close above two exponential moving average. So as long as one hour candle can close above 66.44, this could be a very strong bullish signal for Australian versus Japanese yen. But you can see here we failed to close below. This is already a strong demand zone. And um, this trend shouldn't, shouldn't last long. I, I, I do believe we can be there by the end of the week and or uh, beginning of the next week. Uh, so this is quite a fast trend for the 350 potential uh, move, 350 points. And this is idea basically for this week. I will update you in our next video what will be happening. So far, it's um, starting to move up. You can see that there is a doji candle formed. Uh, so this could be a reversal. Very interesting timing for this pair. Okay, guys. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to put the like button and subscribe for our next trade ideas. Thanks all for watching and happy trading to all.